Hey, we are live and welcome back. Man, it's good to go live again. And look, if you if this is your first time here, well, hey, I'm Alan and my wonderful co-host. Hey, <laughs> my wonderful. Oh, hang on. Let me come over here and text to speech. All right, I had to turn off the other mic. All right. Hey, my beautiful co-host. Well, she is visiting family in the United States for Christmas. Uh, there was actually a uh, recent death in the family, and uh, Rebecca is extremely, extremely close to her family. Uh, I have a kind of... Uh, I, I don't know what you want to call it. I got a messed up family. <laughs> so I'm not close to my family, but Rebecca is. And so, uh, you know, so she is visiting family. And I know a lot of you miss her. And the, mo the majority of you are thinking, you know, where is that sweet, sweet Rebecca, you know? And, uh, of course, I know you all think she is just this sweet uh, little girl. And the truth of the matter is that, uh, well, you're wrong. Uh, she is more than sweet. She's just dripping with honey. I'm talking about, you know, Rebecca is just an amazing, an amazing uh, woman. Uh, uh, she loves off-grid homesteading. And uh, ain't nothing that she likes more than being right here. Anyway, uh, let's talk about what we're going to talk about today. So, hey, you know, uh, I got some really exciting news for you, but you know, we are talking about, uh, well, we're talking about some of that taboo information that nobody is talking about in Costa Rica. Uh, so I've got some really great news for you. Okay. So, uh, I, I greatly appreciate all of the kind words that are coming in. Anyway, we're gonna have a great time today. I can't, I can't say enough how much I have missed uh, going live with you guys. Okay, uh, I know some of you folks uh, feel like you just know us left and right, and hey, I kind of feel the same way. I look forward to having these lives and just kind of educating you and just, you know, just sharing what we're doing out here on the off grid homestead. Okay. And it's really, is just a lot of fun. Uh, I'm learning a lot of stuff. I don't pretend to be, uh, an expert, you know, I'm very, very transparent in, uh, in what we do here, but, uh, I'm gonna, I said I wouldn't do this. I'm going to try not to get emotional, okay? But I want to share something with you because I think you, you need to know. Uh, over the last couple of months, several months, uh, we've gone through a lot of serious, serious challenges. But, okay, uh, because we try to keep our channel very positive and we try to look at the positive, you know, no matter what you do, when you come to Costa Rica, you are going to run into challenges. And it doesn't matter whether it's challenges about being in a different country. You know, a lot of people, man, they go through culture shock and it's like, you know, it, it's not like the United States. And, uh, you know, I try to educate people and I try to help people. You know, we try to keep everything as positive as possible on our channel. Never, ever do we uh, try to say anything in anger or in mean meanness. We never say anything in judgment, right? Uh, you know, uh, and we always try to keep everything as positive as possible because, uh, well, we're just positive people. But we do have a lot of Ticos that watch the channel and... Um, let me tell you something about Tico's. This is a cultural side note that you need to write down, okay? Uh, Tico's, even Tico's don't like some of the things about their own country, okay? But uh, Tico's are probably the most loyal, most uh, patriotic people I know when it comes to loving their country. OK, um, 
They might hate the president. They might hate some of their stupidity, but they love their country. Okay. So if I put out a video that says uh, Costa Rica, a third world country, some of them, before they even watch the video, they're going to start hating. Man, they're going to they're gonna dislike it. They're going to start putting all these mean comments. They've never even watched the video. Now, I need you to understand. Is Costa Rica a third world country? Absolutely. Is it kosher to say third world country? Well, no. People would rather say it's a less developed country. It's a more developed. Hey, I'm not here to be politically correct. Let me help you to understand. I'm not trying to be mean, rude, or ugly. But when I put out a video, I do all of this keyword research. And I'm trying to inform people who have a desire to come to Costa Rica. And when they're trying to find out information about Costa Rica, do you think they're typing into Google? Do you think they're typing into YouTube? Is Costa Rica a less developed country? No, they're not. They're typing in, is Costa Rica a third world country? So that's what my title is going to be. When I create a video, it's all about how many clicks can I get? Now, it's not clickbait. And uh, anything I put on my thumbnails is going to grab your attention. It's all there to grab your attention, to get you to click so that I can educate you about the country. Because if I could, I could say Costa Rica is a less developed country, nobody's going to find it. Nobody wants to see it. Is Costa Rica a third world country? Bam. You know, that's what people are typing. That's what they want to know. And I can explain that, hey, while Costa Rica is a third world country, it's nothing like what you see where you got these starving kids, pot belly, you know. Now, do they have starving kids? Absolutely. Does the United States have th starving kids? Absolutely. So you see, Costa Rica is really growing and doing some amazing things to just get better and better and better. But you got to keep in mind, Costa Rica is this tiny, tiny country. It's smaller than the state of Louisiana. So it doesn't have the resources like the United States has in order to grow and grow and grow and grow. And even the United States is crooked in many ways when it comes to government. And well, Costa Rica is crooked in government. But, you know, when you're crooked in the United States, you've got a lot more money to put in your back pocket than Costa Rica. So if you've got crooked government in Costa Rica, there's just not that much money to be put in your back pocket, which means if they're putting it in their back pocket, guess what? It ain't going on the roads. It ain't going to the infrastructure. And it keeps Costa Rica as a third world country. Wait a minute, as a less developed country. So keep in mind now, Costa Rica is a absolutely beautiful country. I'm not hating on Costa Rica. I love Costa Rica. Hence the whole reason that Rebecca and I have been here for over eight years, even with stuff that drives me insane, okay? But anyway, so I just kind of wanted to share with you. Now, now that I finally got my composure back a little bit, I also want to tell you that, hey, uh, not next week, but uh, 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 January 2nd, I'm going to do a live. January 2nd, because of course next week is Christmas and uh, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a break. I have some amazing subscribers uh, on our channel uh, who have come to Costa Rica, has invited me to come spend Christmas with them since they know that Rebecca is uh, visiting family in Costa Rica. And I'd be by myself, okay? And so got some amazing subscribers who have invited me to come up, spend time with them. I am excited to go in. I, I need a break, okay? So anyway, long story short, January 2nd, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to send out some emails. So if you haven't subscribed to our newsletter, the best thing that you can do to communicate with uh, me is to subscribe to our newsletter because immediately you'll get an email, you'll begin to hear our story, but you can reply to any of those emails and you can contact us and you can get to know, uh, you know, more about us. Okay. So, uh, I'm, I'm trying to follow the chats as I go. Normally, when Rebecca's here, she kind of helps me out. Okay, so anyway. Um, I, I kind of lost track. But anyway, 
January 2nd. Uh, I'm going to dive into some of our personal life. I'm going to uh, share with you some of the challenges that we have been through uh, very recently. Uh, And I'm talking about we had some serious, serious financial challenges. Uh, At the moment, I am more broke today or we're more broke today than we've ever been because uh, we had some stores on Amazon. They shut them down. Uh, I'm kind of looking around because I'm trying to be careful. Uh, The owner of this property has just kind of gone nuts. Uh, But we've kind of trying to work these things out. I'm not sure what's going on, uh, but I'll talk in detail about that later. Uh, uh, Just there's been a lot of stuff that a lot, a lot of challenges. So, uh, and I'm not ready to talk about them right now. Uh, I'll talk about them January 2nd. I'll send out emails to let you know about them. And that's why I was saying, hey, look in the description. There's a place you can click on the link so you could join our newsletter. And if you you know, feel like it, you need to communicate with me, you want to send something personal, you absolutely can do that. Okay. So anyway, uh, January 2nd, I'll be sending out emails. Uh, and of course, I, I'll do my usual. I'll put it in the Facebook group. But I'll be telling you more and more about that stuff to kind of let you know, crap, where has Alan and Re- Rebecca been the last month? You know, there's no videos. Where have they been? You know, hey, and, and I want to say I greatly, greatly appreciate uh, all, uh, all of your concerns. Uh, all I can say right now is, hey, if you're a praying person, pray. Uh, uh, if you don't believe in praying, hey, wish us well. Uh, you know, uh, you know me. I believe in freedom of choice, and I respect everybody, whether you believe or don't believe. Uh, and so, hey, uh, anyway, enough on that topic. Let's talk about today's topic as we're talking about prostitutes, guns, and drugs. Well, a lot of taboo things in Costa Rica. Okay, so. And then I'm going to go through the chat box and I'm going to kind of look at the chats because I really love the chat box. And I love how you guys just really talk with each other and and just really have a great time. So, uh, well, you know what, before I get on that topic, let me look through the question box and see, you know, hey, maybe you have a question or two about the uh, video that just premiered on what we're doing on the off-grid homestead. Because, hey, now you know. I'm actually about five months behind on some of my videos. We've just had lots of challenges here, but it's getting better. I can say that it's getting better. I keep declaring it's getting better. Uh, I keep declaring that the owner is going to do what's right. Uh, I keep declaring that it's getting better and better and better. And we just have to look at the positive because, you know, it doesn't matter what goes on in life. If you if you focus on the negative, if you focus on what's not fair, if you focus on, you know, uh, all of the bad stuff, then uh, life is not enjoyable. And for me, uh, the reason I'm here is I love peace and tranquility. And and I got to have that, okay? And I can enjoy life. So anyway, uh, real quick, I'm going to look through there. Do you have any specific questions about the off-grid homestead? I'm going to take a quick look uh, at at what we got going on right here, okay? So let me take a look. uh, And... (laughs) You know, it's funny, uh, if you saw the thumbnail that was on this picture, you know, there was a picture of prostitutes, live sex, whatever. Uh, there was a picture of policemen with guns, and there was a picture of a pineapple. And, uh, you know, you kind of wonder what it looked like on the inside. One subscriber thought that was a banana. And what was on the inside is cocaine. You know, just like any country, Costa Rica does have a problem with drugs, and uh, they have discovered that there's some drug cartel that's been uh, getting cocaine either out or in, I don't know which, the country by putting cocaine inside pineapples. Because what you might know uh, or what you might not know is that cocaine, uh, that pineapples is a huge, huge. There's uh, the company, most of you probably know, Del Monte. It's called, uh, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Y'all see it? Uh, what is the name of that? Uh, I'm trying to think. Pendeca. So the Ticos call it Pendeca. I'm guessing Pendeca just means Del Monte in Spanish. I don't know. But Pendeca is huge, huge, thousands of acres. They grow tons and tons of pineapples, I think. Don't quote me, but I think they also grow sugarcane. But 
somehow these cocaine or these drug people have learned that they can either ship in or ship out cocaine by hiding it inside a pineapple. How interesting. How much uh, the money? Who knows? Anyhow, so I'm looking for questions on the off-grid homestead, okay? So uh, I'm taking a quick look here. Oh, and thanks for all the great, great uh, uh, input uh, I'm looking at right here. So, all right, fantastic. So today we are, I, I got some really great news, okay? As you know, on our channel, we try to keep everything as positive as possible. Now, here's the only problem with keeping things as positive as, as positive as possible is that uh, we've always said, I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know, because in reality, I don't have anything to gain from you by being a subscriber. Now, obviously. The more subscribers I have, the more views I have. Well, I might make a few bucks from uh, YouTube by the ads. But if, in case you don't know, in order to actually make a decent living, you got to have 30, 40, 50, maybe 100,000 subscribers watching your channel before you can make some decent money off of your YouTube channel. Well, you know, we don't even have, I mean, we got about, 8,500 subscribers. I love every single one of them. But the money that we make off our channel is just kind of minute. It's hardly anything. And hence the reason we have a forum where you have the option to become a premium member uh, because, hey, uh, it's a lot of work what we do, okay? So uh, because Amazon has closed all of our stores, uh, because a lot of things have happened, I'm having to focus on uh, creating a new income stream, creating a new online business. And so, hey, I'm not saying any of this. To, I don't want you to feel sorry for me. If you want to join the premium forum, I would love for you to do that. OK, every dollar helps us. But I'm not saying this to you know, I, I want to kind of give you some information. I'm going to give you a lot, a lot, a lot of information, and some personal insight on January 2nd to kind of give you an idea. A lot of YouTube channels have what's called a Patreon, and you can you can give money at their Patreon and stuff like that. But I've decided to do something different, and I, I did the forum, but I found out a lot of people just didn't like the forum, okay? I'm getting sidetracked on a rabbit trail. Let me go back, you know, on the channel. We try to keep everything as positive as possible. However, what I realized you know, there's a lot of uh, Costa Rican channels out there and they have an ulterior motive, right? So, you know, whether they want you to buy tours from them or they want to help you move to Costa Rica and there's nothing wrong with that at all. Okay. So I'm not downing or talking bad about those channels, but their motive is to give you information about Costa Rica so that you can come to Costa Rica. You can buy tours. You can move to Costa Rica. We'll help you. Awesome. But do they give you the whole truth. Do they tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly? Well, obviously, some they're going to tell you some things, but they're not going to tell you everything because if they give you the ugly, you may not come to Costa Rica. And, you know, I read every single comment and some people say, I'm so glad you shared such and such because I'm not coming to Costa Rica now. And I don't feel bad. I actually feel good that you decided not to come to Costa Rica based on whatever I taught you because I'd hate for you to come to Costa Rica, spend Gosh knows how much money, sell your place, and then you come here to realize that this is not for you. So I try to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly so that you get all of the facts and you can make an educated decision based on everything. So here's what I realized. When I create a video talking about the third world country of Costa Rica, then I get ticos who get mad at me, even though they know that it's a third world country. If I say anything negative, they get... So what I've learned is that there is a ton of information I need to share with you. I need to share with you the realities and the truth of prostitution, okay? Let's talk about that a moment. Prostitution is legal in Costa Rica. Now, I'm not condoning. I'm not suggesting. I'm not saying I partake in, okay? What I'm saying is that 
I don't judge. Prostitution is legal in Costa Rica. Costa Rica is a very poor country. And if a woman or a man prostitute decides that they need to be a prostitute in order to make the necessary money to feed their family, or that's what they decide to do instead of working a day job, I don't judge. Okay. I've always, always said that we believe in freedom of choice. As long as your freedom of choice doesn't affect someone else. Let me clarify. My freedom of choice, if I decide that I'm going to enjoy an, a fine glass of banana wine in my home, I can get stupid drunk. Now, I haven't in forever, but I can get stupid drunk, and, and that's okay. Now, I'm not affecting anybody but me. However, if I decide to get stupid drunk or even a little bit uh, incapacitated and I decide I'm going to go drive, now I'm affecting other people's lives, okay? So we believe in freedom of choice so long as your freedom of choice doesn't affect other people, okay? And so we respect that. I, I, me and God are like this. But if you don't believe in God, well, that's okay. Uh, I respect that choice, okay? So uh, just to clarify so that you understand. So the same is true for prostitution. If a woman feels like that's what she needs to do and that's the best way to feed her family, I don't judge, okay? Uh, if someone decides to partake and uh, employ a prostitute, I don't judge, okay? And I'm not condoning. But prostitution is legal. Pimping is not, okay? Hence the whole reason why, you know, because pimping encourages, you know, someone controlling someone and that becomes a sex slave or becomes sex trafficking. And Costa Rica does not want sex trafficking. We do not uh, endorse sex trafficking. We, we're not promoting sex trafficking. We're not even promoting uh, prostitution in Costa Rica. I'm just educating you, okay? But here's what I've learned. There's drugs, there's crime. Everything has gotten worse in Costa Rica because of the pandemic. I suspect it's probably gotten worse all over the world because of the pandemic. But because Costa Rica is so small, well, it affects and it hurts people way more. Okay, so here's what I've discovered. There's a ton of stuff that happens day in and day out that I don't get to share with you. OK, because either one, it's going to uh, negatively affect my channel where I won't make as much money. OK. And, and like I said, it, it's a little bit, but I'm trying to grow our channel so that it can make more money. Or it's such a small item that in order to make decent money on Costa in on YouTube, you need to have at least a 10 minute video. But what I need to share is not 10 minutes worth. OK, so. Here's what I've decided and what I've found out. I've created a new premium community, and it's for premium members only. Hey, it's hardly nothing. You know, at, at this time, I, I, it's $9.99. That's 33 cents a day. What I've discovered is everybody didn't like the other form. It was old school. It had a lot of problems. But I've created a new premium forum, uh, not forum, it's a community. It feels kind of like Facebook, makes it very easy. I've been building on it for a couple of weeks. Uh, it ha doesn't have a lot of stuff in it right now. It has a lot of good space holders. But anyway, it's a place that I can actually create those videos and I can put them inside that community ab about all of this taboo stuff that YouTube would not want me to put up, okay? They don't want me to tell you the truth about the drugs in Costa Rica. They don't want me to tell you the truth about the, the trash and the pollution in Costa Rica. They don't want me to tell you the truth about drugs and crime. They don't want me to tell you the truth about the gringo pricing. So I can create these videos and put them inside the premium members only community. And it's a place where, hey, it's $10, but look, that's $10. That's an investment in your life getting the knowledge you need to come to Costa Rica. Now, look, I know there's a lot of people say, well, I could just go to YouTube and get it for free. Well, yeah, you can. You can get it for free on YouTube, but free is worth something too because when you get it for free, well, you get what you pay for. Yeah, you're going to get crap, okay? Or you're going to get old information or it's, you know, not going to be correct. It's not going to, anyway, you know, my point is if you're serious about coming to Costa Rica, then you won't, 
accurate information. And our goal is to give you the most accurate information possible. Okay. Not everybody wants to watch us build an off-grid homestead, but everybody wants information about Costa Rica. And we try our darndest to give you that information. Okay. So let me go uh, over on my screen because I'm going to put the link inside the chat box right here. And, and, and look, don't click on it right now, but hey, maybe copy and paste it, save it. But you can actually go to, uh, and it don't even look like it has the correct link right there. Uh, that's a bummer. Let me see if I can find the correct link for a second real quick, okay? Because it doesn't look like it came up correctly. Here we go. Let me put this in here. Yeah, it didn't look like it pasted all the way. So anyway, there's the correct link in the chat box. You can click on that link and it'll take you to where you can actually sign up for the uh, premium members only. Now, if you're already a premium member of the other forum, it's going to be closed down soon. I've already sent you an email so that you can go and create your account at the new premium community. Uh, like I said, it's a lot easier. Uh, uh, it's a, it's really a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, like I said, bear with me this week, you're going to see a lot of stuff going in there. But what I have discovered is that, you know, there's lots of stuff, you know, almost every day. Well, and it ain't no almost to it. Every single day, Nikki and I go for a walk every evening and, and, and we go for a walk every evening. And uh, look, check out my, my, there she is. Hey, Nikki. <laughs> Oh, Nikki, she loves, uh, that is, that's my sidekick. She loves to go for a walk every day. What you think, Nikki? Huh? What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, I know. Uh, anyway, uh, let me adjust my camera now that I've done messed it up. Okay, so anyhow, uh, it would be, uh, so it, Every day we go for a walk and every single day, anytime I go into town, I'm taking new video. I have a ton of video clips that I see different things in Costa Rica that just amazes me, shocks me, surprises me. And it's stuff that I want to share with you. But I take this video footage thinking, OK, maybe I'll get enough video footage that I can make either a compilation or you know, I could put this stuff together. But it's stuff that you need to know about. Why does it take forever? to do anything in Costa Rica. Well, in this new community, I can share that with you, okay? So there's a lot of things that you just don't hear about in Costa Rica. You know, like uh, Doug, he just said, you are right on the garbage pollution. I don't think, I don't even think they recycle anything. A dear friend, Tika, uh, does cleanups of rivers, landscapes all the time. Effort. Hey, there's a lot of stuff that you don't know about Costa Rica. What you don't know about is Costa Rica's beautiful. Man, they've got rivers and creeks everywhere. However, how clean are those rivers and creeks when everybody's gray water? Now, it's just gray water, but still, there's a lot of chemicals, a lot of trash in gray water, and it runs down the street into the rivers and the creeks. Do you really want to be swimming in that garbage? Eee. You know, there's a lot of stuff you really need to know about, but it's stuff that I, I can't share on YouTube because it would negatively affect the channel. OK, so that's stuff that I'm going to share with you. Of course, we got our Facebook group. But I hey, look, in all honesty, I hate Facebook. I just don't like Facebook. OK, I've been there, done that. And it's just too many distractions. But if you're in the Facebook group, I'm going to be every single time I post a new video or new content inside that community, I'm going to be posting it in the group and say, hey, look, there's a new video on such and such. Matter of fact, here's something that I discovered the other day that you're going to be shocked at. You know, because of the pandemic, there's a lot of crime and it's gotten worse in Costa Rica. Now, Costa Rica doesn't want you to know that crime has gotten worse in Costa Rica. OK, how in the world are you going to protect yourself? Because it's very difficult to buy a weapon in Costa Rica. The other day I found out how and it's not illegal. OK, I'm, but I can't share that on YouTube. But in the community, I can share how you can protect yourself in Costa Rica by owning a weapon. OK, 
And so it's important you need to know this because obviously the crooks know this and they're buying these weapons and then they're holding you at gunpoint while they rob your house, okay, and steal everything you've got. And you need to know this important stuff, okay? You need to know that whenever you're in Hako and you're walking down the street shopping and you meet this girl and she is so kind that maybe there's an ulterior motive. Maybe she's leading you down a street that's going to get you robbed. Maybe when you meet this guy that he's so friendly and then all of a sudden he's trying to sell you drugs and you're like, oh, it's just a little marijuana. I like a little marijuana, you know, and then he cons you. You need to know what to look out for. And this is the kind of stuff that I can't share on YouTube, but I can share that inside the community. So you can avoid the dangers of some of these things. Like I said, I don't judge, okay? Uh, if you want to come down here and employ a woman uh, and help her feed her kids, I don't judge. I'm not saying I'm not saying you should. I don't judge. But we're going to be talking about all kind of stuff, and we're going to talk about the facts, the good, the bad, and the ugly in Costa Rica. Because if you're coming here, you need to know it. Now, on a good note, you know, a lot, a lot of people uh, in the last... Well, in November, a lot of people who were subscribers, uh, who were supporting us in the uh, forum, well, they canceled. I can't blame them. Man, you know, we disappeared and we were going through some challenges. OK, bad, bad challenges. And look, you know, we all go through challenges in life. And I got to be honest with you. I went through some challenges that uh, I froze up. I froze up for about a month trying to process what was happening, trying to find out, crap, do I even want to be here? Is it time to throw in the towel? I mean, I just, and, and I'm, I'm pretty hard guy. I'm hardcore. Uh, and, and you know, I got, let me just throw this out there. Some people are just mean. We got some mean people on the channel that will say, you know, how can you Make your wife sleep in a car and she ain't got a toilet. And she we got some mean people on this channel, okay? Uh, but what they don't know is they don't know how awesome Rebecca is. Uh, you know, this place where we're at, the owner does have toilets, and and uh, hey, I go up there and I use that toilet anytime I want to, okay? However, Rebecca, she is so easy going. She would much rather uh, use an outhouse than walk up the hill. OK, uh, she loves to sleep in the back of the vehicle because she's always looking at the bigger picture. And that is that her husband is working night and day to support her, take care of her and build a tiny house. And, and the vision, it's the vision. It's looking to the vision, uh, you know, at what we're doing. So we all got to make sacrifices. OK, anyway, enough on that. Uh, but there's mean people. And so you, you've got to focus. And I just got to say, I froze up there for a month trying to figure out whether it was time to throw in the towel or what I was going to do. And, and so what I decided to do was that I don't care how bad it gets. I don't care how mean people are to me. I don't care how bad. I got to stop hitting the table, huh? <laughs> I don't care how mean people are to me. I'm going to keep doing the right thing. Okay. It's easy to be nice to nice people. But man, it takes a totally different person to be nice to mean people. And I've just decided that I don't care how mean the person that owns this property is, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to do the right thing to everybody, no matter how mean they are. Okay. So most people would say an eye for an eye. You punch me, I punch you. That's not my character. My character is I don't care how mean you are, I might not like you. But if you need help, I'm going to help you. So anyway, that's enough of that talk. My point is, hey, when you're in Costa Rica, if you can control the circumstances, then everything is so, so, so much better. And I love where I'm at. However, because I'm only leasing this property, and I'll go into detail on that in January 2nd, okay, 
I can't 100% control the environment, okay, which means I'm still susceptible to whatever the owner requests, says, or does, okay? So anyway, just, just giving you some information, okay? So uh, let me take a look. Let me take a, let me, <clears throat> let me take a break here. <sighs> Folks, I'm going to have to share my, uh, this happens to be star fruit. I'm about to open up some banana. That banana's my favorite. Woo! But this is good stuff. Now, I like my apple juice too, especially on a hot day. Hey, summer is here. Woo! I'm so glad summer is here. I like it when it's raining, but I like summer. Anyway, let me take a look at the questions here and see what kind of questions we got going on. Because I want to answer every single question uh, that you folks put out there, okay? So I'm taking a look through here. Uh, now, uh, we're carrying signs says, hey, would a solar-based refrigerator be useful there? Uh, they they seem pretty user-friendly. And, uh, yeah, you know, you could get a solar uh, energy refrigerator, but really, um, sometimes, I, I don't know a lot about them. But the solar system that I have, it's not very big. And in case you don't know, I only paid around six grand for the solar system I have. It's got two really big powerful lithium batteries has six solar panels and uh hey look it operates my refrigerator it operates a deep freezer and so really i don't think you need an expensive solar operated uh, uh you know which would be a dc operated refrigerator it would probably be fine not necessary that's my point okay uh let me take a look here Uh, greatly, greatly appreciate all the kind words. Uh, there has been some challenges, but look, everybody's going to go through challenges and we're going to get through it. And uh, I'm taking a look here. Now, uh, Greg says, to be fair, things in Central Valley. So in the Central Valley, when we're talking about Central Valley, we're talking about the, uh, the you know, around San Isidro, that big area. Central Valley, he says, to be fair, things in Central Valley, unemployment rate is 18% right now. is much better than the Southern Zone. Yeah, you're right. In the Southern Zone, it's awful. Costa Rica has published an unemployment rate of 33%, okay? And, uh, you know, the Southern Zone's very pretty, but there's not hardly any tourism down there. Uh, there's not a lot of anything down there. Uh, uh, not nearly as developed. It's still a nice area. And that's where Rebecca and I went when we first got here was in the Southern zone of San Vito. Okay. Great, great place developed by the Italians. Okay. Now, as far as, you know, like SLM says, wow, I didn't know about that water situation. He's going to ask the landlord about their water uh, and where does the recycle end up? Okay. Uh, and they take their things to the recycle center. And uh, you can find a few things. Recycling is not big in Costa Rica, but you can find recycling bins. They're usually very tiny. Okay. And so, uh, but you got to, you know, sort your aluminum, your glass, your paper, and there's some little green bins out. And uh, you can put them in there. And they're not very big, okay? They're just not real big on recycling here. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, SLM is right. says, I think there's a lot of trolls and ugly people that try to destroy other channels. Yeah, there are. There's people that's just downright jealous. It's just the, the, the nature of this world. And it's sad. It really is, okay? Uh, Doug asked if we thought about a container home. And I did think about a container home when I first came down here. Uh, but turns out that to buy a container in Costa Rica, it's so, so expensive, it would be better just to build a house out of metal. And that's what we're going to do. Because the wood is so crazy expensive that it would be better for me to build a house out of metal and then do the wood trim work. That's the plan. All right, got some great comments. Fantastic, love it. Uh, Greg says, I need some Bavaria Dark. Haven't ever tried that. Maybe you can get me one. <laughs> anyway, fantastic. Okay, so I covered all of those in there. And uh, 
so really the basis of this video and, and the biggest reason that why I wanted to do this live is really make me feel better. Uh, to be able to, to, uh, because I love doing lives and I love sharing as much knowledge and information that I can and answer all of the questions that you have. I love sharing what uh, we're doing here, okay? And But I wanted to, you know, uh, as I spend time walking every morning and thinking about different things, uh, I realized that uh, there's so much more that I can do, but I, I was limited in on how I could share that information on the YouTube channel. And that's when I realized, hey, I can really share some great stuff with you in this members only community. And that's the reason I decided to make it members only with members only within I keep all trolls out. And well, most Tikas don't have the money or Ticos don't have the money to join. A, uh, they're not going to spend ten dollars. And that way I won't. I won't have to be concerned with upsetting them because I'm giving the truth about Costa Rica. Okay. So I, I want you to understand that it's going to be members only always because the other forum you could join for free. Uh, and it was private areas. Uh, but anyway, so members only, Hey, big shout out to Greg. Thank you so greatly. Uh, you know, Greg hit the dollar sign down in the chat box where he gives, uh, you know, he gave, he gave 20 bucks. Thank you so much. Greatly, <clears throat> greatly, greatly appreciate it. It does help us tremendously. Every dollar helps us. Okay. So, uh, anyway, uh, if you want to donate, if you want to support us in any way, you can support us simply by hitting the dollar sign in the chat box. Thank you so much, Kelly M. Uh, oh, wow. Thank you, Kelly. She says, Apple juice replenishment. I agree. <laughs> so, thank you very much. Really, really appreciate it. You can always donate by, uh, you know, clicking that dollar sign. But, you know, even more, you know, uh, what I really appreciate is if you will actually join our members only uh, uh, community by joining the members only community. You can unsubscribe or you can cancel your premium membership anytime. It's very easy to do because you'll get an email uh, every month whenever you pay that ten dollars. And, and you'll have the opportunity to cancel your subscription. But, hey, I just love it whenever you do. Uh, well, I love it when you support here, uh, uh, hitting that dollar sign, or whenever you support on the uh, uh, members area, okay, uh, on the dollar sign. I have to share all of that. I have to share some of that money with YouTube, but I don't have to share any money at the forum with YouTube. Hee hee, ha ha. Hope they ain't listening anyway. <laughs> anyway, but the point of this uh, live today is not only answer your questions, but let you know. Got a new premium members area I'm really excited about. But to let you know, uh, because we are going through some serious, serious financial issues, uh, I have, you know, the, here's the good thing. Don't feel sorry for me. Uh, I have a, a, some amazing talents and abilities where I can create a business like this on the internet. Now, every business takes time, but I can create a business on the internet. There's lots of ways to make money on the internet. That's the only reason we're able to be here in Costa Rica, because I'm not retired and I'm not wealthy by far. Okay. So, but because of my talents and abilities online, uh, I can create a new business and that's what I'm working on right now. I'm really focused on building a brand new business online. And uh, which reminds me to tell you, most of you have no interest whatsoever in building a business online. But for those people that, that want to learn how to build a business online, I'm going to give you that opportunity. I'll tell you more about that in an upcoming video real soon. And if you want to join me and if you want to follow along, you might just want to watch what I'm doing. I'm going to show you how you can build a business online. And uh, I'm going to show you some easy ways to make money in Costa Rica that are ethical and legal okay depending on how you want to go about doing it okay so anyway that's just uh just some uh some good news that i want to share with you and and so i'm really really focused on building a brand new business because i've got to get some income coming in youtube is great but that's uh, that's called the long haul i mean you've got a really that's a long-term goal and it takes a long long time to make decent money with youtube as i said earlier you know we've got 8,500 subscribers, love every one of them, but you really got to have 30, 40, 50,000, maybe 100,000 subscribers before you make decent money. Now, you know, we can make money quickly uh, and decent money if everybody joined the forum, I mean, joined the new community. And, and that would be a huge, huge blessing for us, okay? But you know, uh, th that's not the point of this uh, live. You know, the point is, I know that I've got to build a new business. 
And so I'm going to focus on doing that. I've got tons of experience. I've been doing, I've been online for over 15 years. And unfortunately, there's a lot of junk out there and a lot of scammers when you begin to look for how you can build a business online. And so I'm going to begin showing people, hey, how you can build an ethical, real business online if that's what you want. As a lot of people could care less about that because, well, they've got enough money, they're retired, they really just want to come to Costa Rica and enjoy. And if that's your goal, fantastic. That's what you're going to get at this channel, okay? I'll just send out other information. Anyway, join our subscriber list because we never spam you. The only time we send out an email on our subscriber list is to let you know about the upcoming video, let you know about an upcoming live, let you know what we're doing here. A lot of times something very important, something crucial is happening in Costa Rica. You need to know about it. And I don't have time to make that video to tell you about it. I need to send you an email. So if you're subscribed to our newsletter, man, when the president does something stupid, like uh, whatever, okay, then uh, anything that happens, something changes. You need to know about the restrictions, uh, entry requirements. I can send out a fast email to update you on the recent changes so that you'll be better prepared for when you do come to Costa Rica. So I hope that makes sense, okay? So anyway, uh, let me quickly go through here. Uh, before I wrap this up, I'm having an absolutely great time, but there's not a lot of stuff that I want to talk about other than to let you know that I do want to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Unfortunately, I can't do that live, so that's going to be inside that premium members-only forum. But let me go through here. If I haven't answered any question that you have, please, please, please put that question in the chat box right now. And it doesn't matter what that topic is. Hey, maybe you do want to know about prostitutes, drugs, um, and if I can answer it without getting in too much trouble, I will. Uh, if you want to know about the homestead, if you want to know about what's going on in Costa Rica, because in Costa Rica, things seem to have uh, kind of calmed down. Uh, the courts kind of stopped all of this mandate stuff right now because Costa Rica needs the tourist industry. They need that tourist dollar. They need, Costa Ricans need that, okay? They really do. And that's what, you know, uh, some people got mad at me when I said that the uh, the mandate madness. And uh, look, you know, we're we're not for or against. Uh, we believe in freedom of choice. But, you know, when when the president did the, the the force mandates, well, that hurt so many people. And there are so many people that their whole life is dependent on the tourism and, and that 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 the vaccine mandates. Gave, broke all their hope. I mean, they were broke and needing of food and money. And so, you know, it really, that really hurt me on a personal level because I know people that was being hurt in a big, big way because what the president was trying to do was going to kill tourism. So I'm so glad that the court stepped in in order to stop that. But, you know, right now things are looking normal. Tourism is, is, is coming up. People are coming up. Uh, the locals are making some money off the tourists, and that's good news. So I'm excited about that. So if I haven't answered your question, put it in the chat box because I want to answer your question. And I want to say thank you, everyone, for that that are donating, okay? Thank you, everyone, that uh, is joining our premium uh, uh, members area, okay? And keep in mind, not a whole lot there right now, but you're going to see a lot of stuff here this week, okay? And... Uh, Doug says uh, he was there in late October. He's coming back down in March to look at a one-acre property in San Ramon. Fantastic, okay? Uh, you know, right now you can get some decent, I mean, some really great prices on property in Costa Rica. You know, the uh, pandemic has caused a lot of people to leave. Uh, and there's just a lot of older people that are leaving. Uh, and there's just not a lot of buyers. And so because there's not a lot of buyers right now, it's a buyer's market. You can you can get some phenomenal, phenomenal property deals. And I'm going to be putting these property deals that I come across inside that members only forum. Uh, hopefully you can swoop up some of these properties that I see at some phenomenal prices. So I'm going to put those inside the, the uh, members, the, the new community as well. OK. Uh, yeah, uh, Manila's finest says Del Rey or Hotel Cacao. I think Hotel Cacao is in Hako and Del Rey, I think is over in, uh, San Jose. 
Uh, but those are two very popular uh, places where uh, prostitutes are at trying to make money for their families, okay? Uh, Linda says, uh, any suggestion on how to pump water uphill from my creek? Absolutely, Linda. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I'm going to be doing a video on that real soon. But Linda, if you will join our subscriber list and send me an email, uh, I'll give you some more details on how you can pump water uphill. Now, uh, there, there are certain things that have to happen in order for you to do that. But if you have enough water, you can definitely pump water uphill. Matter of fact, I'm going to be doing that here. I don't need to. I'm going to do it just so that I can show you that it's possible to pump water uphill and get free water. Uh, I have a video coming up real soon that's going to be showing you all about our water system that I've um, created here in Costa Rica. Uh, let me take a look, go back to, uh, so thank you for that question, Linda. Um, yeah, Greg says, Blue Marlin and Key Largo Club. Don't know about those. I, I, the only reason I'm familiar with some of these names is I've been doing a lot of research to answer questions that come to me on a regular basis in emails and on YouTube, okay? And uh, some videos I'm preparing inside the members area, okay? Wow. Uh, I hope this is not true there, but uh, I don't know why he would lie. But uh, Isla Tarbone says they, and I don't know who they are, and that's bad people. They assaulted me last night at 630 with guns and a rifle in my house in the mountains tied up. Wow, that is that is horrible. I hate to hear that. Uh, but some of that stuff has been happening in Costa Rica. And, of course, uh, Costa Rica doesn't want you to know about that. That's why it's very important you, for you to know how to protect yourself. And that's one of the very first things I'm going to put inside the members area and uh, the premium community. Because uh, I found, I, I was shocked. I was amazed by what I found out just a couple of weeks ago. And I couldn't wait to share that with you. But I was trying to figure out how can I share that without getting into too much trouble on YouTube and that members area. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can protect yourself. Because, I mean, the last thing that you need is somebody to come into your house and hold hold you up by rifle and gunpoint, you know, just because you're a gringo. You know, let me share with you real quick. It makes me so mad. You know, I'm honest to a fault. I will tell you everything that I can about uh, anything, okay, even if it hurts me. But the other day, there was a guy who, uh, he came down here in a Land Rover. The Land Rover is 21 years old, but is in pretty decent shape. Anyway, it was broke down. He left out of here, and he said he, you know, anyway, he talked to my neighbor. <clears throat> he offered to sell the Land Rover to my neighbor. $5,000, okay? Was it worth $5,000, a 21-year-old vehicle? Maybe, maybe not. It's a Land Rover, okay? Anyway, what he didn't know is that me and my neighbor are real close. The next day, I talked to him before he left, and uh, I talked to him about his Land Rover. He says, well, you interested? I said, well, I might be. He said, well, I'll sell it to you cheap, $7,000. Well, he had no idea I already knew the price. Now, let me tell you something. There's some people call that free enterprise, and I call that... You're cheating people and take advantage of people. Why is it you're going to sell that vehicle to my Tico neighbor for five thousand, but you're going to sell it to me for seven? That's because you're a jerk. That's because you're dishonest. That's because you're a crook. I mean, you tell me one lie, then my opinion is if you lie me one time, you're going to lie to me many times. And if you will lie, you will steal. Okay. I hate a thief. Okay. I hate somebody that is going to give me the green. Price. Now, that might be some strong words, but I'm pretty strong about that. I'm very honest. I'm going to give you my best, okay? And when I sell something, I don't care whether you're wearing a million-dollar suit or whether you're wearing rags, but the price is the price, okay? So uh, it ain't free enterprise. It's called taking advantage of somebody, and I hate that, okay? So anyway, kind of got on a rabbit trail there. That's my soapbox. Anyway. So I hate it when that kind of stuff happens, but it does happen here, okay? Uh, I'm not retired military. Uh, Juan says, loves the channel, thought that you was retired military. I'm not retired military. I spent a little over six years in the United States Marine Corps. Loved it. Absolutely loved being in the Marine Corps. Uh, however, uh, as my brother puts it, I'm unemployable because... Uh, 
I'm the kind of person, man, I go above and beyond. And if I have to check in and I got to get permission to go to the bathroom or if I got to get permission to eat lunch, but that's just not me. Uh, I, I, I will give you my 100 percent. But uh, I, I go above and beyond, and I'm kind of limited when I have to work for somebody else, okay? So I don't have a retirement check. If I, if, if I make money, it's because I'm working. I don't get a check, okay? Uh, yeah, uh, SLM says, hey, a good, good, some good info is that, you know, uh, although there's Walmart in some places, there's a lot of what's called uh, pallies or maxi pallies. And that's something I'd love to put in a little video in the members area. Because uh, the maxi pally and the pallies are owned by Walmart. So you will find a little better thing, a little better organized. It's just a better place to go, okay? So I'm glad you put that up there, SLM. And the, uh, that's good information that people just are not sharing on other YouTube channels, okay? That's all that little stuff that's important. And, you know, uh, Isla says it's important. No, he's the guy that reported that he got held up. The police, it's, and that's not the first time I heard this. The police do nothing. And, and the way the police look at it is, you're a gringo. You're a foreigner. If you get held up, you can afford it. But a Tico can't afford it. So I ain't doing nothing to help you, but I'm going to help the Ticos. I'm sorry. That is the cold, hard. That's the truth. That's the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's the ugly. I don't know how many times I had people steal from us, break into our house while we weren't there, or they didn't break into the, well, they did one time break into the house, cut the screen. Anyway, uh, and stole a lot of, it's no good to report it to the police because they don't care. You're a gringo. You got too much money, in their opinion, okay? And, they, and they're just not going to do anything about it, okay? So it's important you know that, okay? Now, yeah, uh, Silver says condominiums are a lot safer versus mountain houses. Now, there's a lot of things that you can do to make your mountain house safe. And I'm going to be doing a video talking about what you can do to make your mountain house safer, okay? Yeah, and you do need to stay away from the road, okay? If you buy a place, you know, because Isla says that you stay away from the road, buy something that's kind of inaccessible, hard to get to, okay? If it's hard to get to... You know, crooks, that's the reason they're crooks. they too lazy to go work for themselves or earn their own way. So they're looking for the easy way out. Why should they earn their way when they can just steal their way? So if your place is harder to get to, then it's then they more than likely they're not going to rob from you. They're going to go steal where it's easy access, okay? Got to be an easy target. Crooks are just lazy. So it's important you know that. Uh, Carrie asked a good question. So Carrie says, besides good fencing, yes, good fencing helps a lot. Does camera systems and motion lights make any difference? Absolutely. So if you have cameras and you have motion lights, huge, huge deterrent. If you have a big dog, okay, not a little yapper. No, get you a big dog, okay? Only problem with big dogs is you got big turds, okay? But a big, mean dog dog uh you know that's the reason we got so they stole stuff so many times from us as i didn't have a dog we were traveling around i didn't want to have a dog once i got a dog and i got nikki almost all of the theft came to a halt okay they a dog will keep out a lot of people okay so have you a big bad dog okay so yeah uh, lights that'll come on, camera system, motion detector lights make a big difference, okay? Doug did 12 years in the core. Woo! Hoorah, devil dog. Woo! Woo! Uh, you know, I, I really don't know that I've seen a lot of increase. You know, Carrie asked, did you see a lot of increase in daytime crime? You know, most of it has been petty crime, but I, most of the crimes are at night. Haven't seen a lot of increase in daytime crime, but to be honest, I don't don't uh, get out as much as I used to, okay? But, you know, with my feelers out there, I haven't heard a whole lot, okay? Uh, yep, Juan, PayPal, uh, or actually PayPal is a great way, uh, or uh, joining the forum is a great way, okay? 
Uh, and, you know, Silver says, hey, if you're worried about security, then go with a condo because they usually have security on site. And, uh, you know, squatters can't go into condos. So, uh, yes, that is true for some of the condos. Uh, so uh, you, you just got to be careful where you go. Uh, Juan says that he currently lives in Escazú. He's asking me if I get anything from the VA. If not, he can point me in the right direction. Juan, point me in the right direction. I'd like to learn more about that. Uh, I stay very, very healthy. I don't get anything as far as VA benefits. Now, when I go to the United States, I'm never sick. Man, I'm the healthiest guy you ever know. Uh, man, look, the, the spiders bite me, and uh, I'm just building up immunities. <laughs> uh, you know, it's funny, but... Uh, so, but I'd like to know more about that one. So yeah, point me in the right direction uh, uh, that anything you know about the VA. And seeing Doug, Doug had to stand up. He says he had, uh, uh, he was threatened by a local uh, who wanted to carjack him. And he told him that he was about to lose his life that day if he didn't back off. And he t ended up talking him down. And, you know, it's funny, you know, it, I don't know. Maybe that's just the Marine Corps way, you know, card, you know, a thief, dude, you have messed up. If you, if you meet me, you just have, you have messed up, dude. You just don't know how crazy I can be. Okay. So yeah, I, I you know, it's not a good thing uh, for some of the thieves here. And that's the thing is that the thieves in here, most Costa Ricans, they're not confrontational. So you can run right over them. But, dude, don't you mess with a Marine. Dude, you are messing up. Okay? Uh, now, now, uh, uh, okay, Linda asked Juan if he was connected with Michael Allen. So I think that's maybe a question for him and not for me. I'm not, I'm not connected with Michael Allen. Michael Allen has a good channel. Uh, you know, his whole channel is all about telling you information about Costa Rica, and he sells you tours and stuff. Nothing wrong with that, okay? Got nothing against Michael Allen. He got a decent channel, okay? Uh, Janice asked a question, where's Rebecca? So you might not have been here earlier when we talked about Rebecca. She is, she's visiting family in the United States. Rebecca's really close, close, close to her family. And, uh, <clears throat> she's visiting family, uh, actually had a, a death in the family, uh, unfortunately recently. Uh, but anyway, Rebecca is visiting family in the United States for the, for the holidays. So, uh, and we'll be talking more about Rebecca on January. Well, I'll be actually talking more about Rebecca inside the members only. So inside the members only forum, there's a section in there that talks about uh, our personal life. And inside the members only forum, we're going to be talking about, uh, uh, hey, you know, a little, so you get to know more about us, more about Rebecca, more about me, giving you some insider information. So you kind of really get to know us a little better than just the, the surface stuff you learn about us on YouTube. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Juan asked, you know, uh, my email address and, and the best way to contact us is in almost every single video. If you go to the description, there's a place where you can click on uh, subscribe to our newsletter and you'll immediately get an email. When you do, you can reply back. That's the best email to contact me with is by subscribing to our newsletter. We never spam you. We only email to let you know about the next video that's coming up. OK, so make sure you do that. Hey, Silver says he's got a beachfront condo on Hako for rent, okay? Uh, video's coming out tomorrow with an Airbnb link. So, Silver, this is probably not the place to put that, okay? The place to put that is inside that members-only uh, community. Inside the members-only community, there will be a place where uh, if you've got an Airbnb, if you've got a property for sale, whatever you've got, that's the place to put it so that you can connect. Because in my opinion, that's going to help other people inside our community who are looking for an Airbnb and looking for a great property, okay? So, you know, on our channel, in the description, I delete all of those comments that I got this for sale. I got, now. you're not here to promote on my channel. But if you want to be in that members only community, there's a section in there where if you got something for sale, hey, 
you're paying ten dollars a month. That's cheap advertising to get people that are coming to Costa Rica. You're more than welcome to do it inside there. So I hope that makes sense for you, Silver. Okay. So put that information inside the uh, members only uh, uh, community. Okay. Now, Alex asked a really great question. Alex says, "Would you say?" that Costa Rica is a safe enough place for family to live permanently coming from the States or Canada. Look, with all the stuff that I've been through, I would say 100% yes, okay? That is if you use common sense and you either have a good fence or a security system with cameras outside your place, 100% safe, okay? Now, if you don't use any common sense, you got fancy cars and you've got expensive stuff and you got you spent ten thousand dollars on this amazing entrance. What are you telling people? You're telling them that you've got money. Rob me, please rob me right now. Okay. Use some common sense when you come to Costa Rica. Okay. If you're gonna flash that you've got money, expect to get robbed. Okay. If you use some common sense. You've got up, you got a big bad dog, you've got security system, then it's absolutely 100% safe. And I would say a lot safer in Costa Rica than in most places in the United States. That is my honest opinion, Alex. Okay. Honest opinion. I hope that answers your question. <clears throat> Thanks so much, Brian. He says, good to see you again. Now, uh, Carrie says, since gringos are looked down upon by police uh, when self defense is used, <clears throat> are you guilty until proven innocent? Carrie, I really wish I could answer that question. Really do. Uh, here's what I do know. Even the Ticos here, because the justice system is so slow, when they know they got a bad egg in the, in the community who is stealing or causing havoc, they will set up a trap for that dude. And they will, and when he comes for the trap, they will pummel him. I mean, they will beat him down. That dude will either move or he will decide he ain't never stealing again. Okay. So I'm not saying that's what you need to go and do. Okay. I can tell you if the dude sees me, he's going to wish he had never seen me. Okay. Uh, so I can promise you. Uh, so anyway, but I'm not trying to get you in trouble. Okay. I'm no attorney. Okay. Hey, no problem, Silver. I already moved your comment. Uh, and Silver, you know, a lot of people just like you, you're not trying to spam. You're not trying to cause problems. I understand completely, okay? Uh, but in the members area, the premium members area, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, and I think it's helpful. It helps people to find good places, okay? Uh, Brian asked a good question. He says, hey, if you get a Tico friend to call about a house for rent and you show up with the uh, you show up with the landlord, would, would the landlord be upset if you if you had someone call for you? Uh, <clears throat> they might be upset, but you wouldn't know it. Uh, they would only be upset if they were dishonest because they'd be like. I thought I was renting this to a Tico, so I only charge him three hundred dollars a month. If I'd have known you was a gringo. I'd have charged you $700 a month because you got too much money. <laughs> That's the truth, okay? That is the truth of the matter. So, uh, and I'm going to prove that to you left and right in the members area. So, no, Brian, uh, I, and I suggest it all the time. If you see a place for rent, always, always get a Tico to call for you so you can get the best price. It's just unfortunate. I'm going to share you incident after incident of the gringo price. And, and that's probably the thing I hate the most about Costa Rica. It just is. You know, uh, I'm a person that I'm, I, I'm going to, I'm just honest. Okay. And if you're going to cheat me, I just don't have much for you. Okay. Hey, Tim Fleck, hoorah, devil dog. He says he's been following, didn't know I was a Marine. What do you mean? You couldn't tell by this haircut? Man, I've been working on this hair. <laughs> I got that devil dog haircut. All right. All right. Hey, man, love the questions. Lots of great input here. Uh, hey, look, if you haven't already liked the channel, make sure that you do that. You know, it's real, real important that you like, 
subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, it boosts our channel and it helps us in a big, big, big way. So, uh, folks, look, uh, if I haven't answered your question, please put it down. Uh, I think I'm going to call it a day. Uh, I greatly, greatly appreciate uh, your comments. Uh, I apologize for getting a little emotional. Uh, uh, it has been some challenges here, but no matter what goes on in life, you're going to focus. There are going to be some challenges. Don't focus on the challenge. Focus on the positive. There's always, al there's always a way that you can uh, turn lemons into lemonade. You can always find that silver lining. Okay, and you have to constantly remind yourself every day. It doesn't matter how unfair the situation is. It doesn't matter how bad it is. You have to remind yourself. I don't care how bad it gets. I'm going to keep doing what's right, even when everything around me is doing what's wrong, even when it's unfair, because nobody said that life was fair. It's not. But if you're going to enjoy life, you got to decide for yourself. I'm going to enjoy life and I don't care what anyone else is doing. If I can control my environment, I'm going to enjoy life. So, hey, I hope you all have a great day. Uh, Silver says, Ticos can't collect a sales commission on real estate even if they don't have a real estate license. Absolutely, okay? Because in Costa Rica, you don't have to have a real estate. Anybody can uh, be a realtor. Matter of fact, when I first came to Costa Rica, because everything was for sale, I, I quickly put up a real estate site and quickly started listing a ton of property. And what I found out was that that was a huge waste of time because it I was taking people on, hey, man, I was taking people on tours of Costa Rica. I was showing them property after property after property. They just turn around and, and buy it, buy a, a different piece of property, and I wouldn't make any money. And I decided that ain't for me. I'm not taking people on free tours. So, yeah, anybody can be a realtor in Costa Rica. Oh, now, Alex asked a great question. Are there many opportunities in Costa Rica in terms of employment possibilities? Employment possibilities? Well, almost zero, okay? And I'll talk about that more later. But entrepreneurship, yes. To be an entrepreneur, you can make some serious money as an entrepreneur in Costa Rica. And uh, when I say serious, it all depends. And I got a video coming out here real soon that talks about how you can make money in Costa Rica. And we're going to talk about how you can, if you got money to invest, how you can make some serious money. Uh, if you don't have money to invest, how you can make some great money. If you have zero money to, in, to invest, how you can still make money. And if you want to learn how to build a business online, how you can really make some awesome money, but it takes time to get through the learning curve. So I'm going to be talking about entrepreneurship. That is really my favorite topic because I've been an entrepreneur my entire life. Matter of fact, my first entrepreneur endeavor, I was uh, probably 10 years old when I found out that I could pick up these Coke bottles and they were returnable. And I could pick up those Coke bottles, take them to the store, and I can get five cents on a Coke bottle and 10 cents on a big Coke bottle that was about a quart. And I found out, man, I can make money for picking up trash. I went, I had a basket on my bicycle. I rode all over the place and I was picking up these Coke bottles. And I would go to the store and turn in those Coke bottles. I'd come back with a handful of candy. <laughs> I've been an entrepreneur since I was 10. I was making money, buying candy, and having a blast. So anyway, I can tell you some stories. Anyway, I want to let you go. Thank you so, folks. Uh, I greatly appreciate y'all being here today. I've had a blast on today's live. So glad you joined me. I hope all of you will join the premium uh, forum. I mean, the premium members area. I'm going to go ahead and put the link in, in the description again. Hey, like I said, it's it's 33 cents a day. And while 33 cents a day or $10 a month probably means absolutely nothing to you, it means a whole, whole lot uh, to us. And, and uh, what you don't know, uh, and I'm going to tell you more, uh, when you when you give $10 a month, what you're really doing is that you're supporting a single mom with five kids. You're supporting a single dad that's got several children. And, and those are my uh, people that I employed when I had my Amazon business. Uh, and they need the money way more than I do. And so I still employ them, even though there's not much.
work. But I've got a single mom with five kids and a dad, and so it's not a whole lot to pay them. But when you support us in our in our premium community, of that money goes to support them so that they can have money to live on. And so these these the they're in a they're in the Philippines. They don't they don't make a lot of money. But I'll I'll go more into detail on that January second. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you dive deep into our personal life and what we do and why we do it. Okay. Hey, great, greatly appreciate everyone who, uh, with the well wishes and the prayers, I really, really appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you. I'm not going to do a live next week. I hope you have an awesome, awesome Christmas. Thank you, everyone that did donate today. And it's not too late to donate. You can click the dollar sign uh, below uh, the chat box if you want to donate. Or, hey, join the uh, the new members area. I'm excited for that. I can't wait. Join the members area, the member community, the uh, living in Costa Rica community. I'd love to get some feedback from you. Brian, you're already a premium member, so you, are, you should have gotten an email today from me telling you to go to create your account. I want some feedback. Tell me what you think about the new premium uh, 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 community. I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about it. So, Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you have an awesome time. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's because I'm going to see you on January 2nd. But you will have some videos before then so that you can uh, find out what else is happening right here in Costa Rica. What's going on in Costa Rica? What's happening on our off-grid homestead? I'll see you next week or January 2nd. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great one, everybody. Thank you so much.